Good morning, everyone. All right, we are going to start today's video out on the outside of Cypress Lawn Memorial Park here in Colma, California, just south of San Francisco. And I had to get this shot because this has got to be the most grand cemetery I've seen in Northern California by far. Um, and now there's ones down in SoCal where Hollywood and all that are, but my goodness, look at, they have their own little like lake right in front. And not only that, so you got the Cypress Lawn right there with the bushes in the front of that, that mausoleum. But this cemetery is so big that it actually splits across El Camino Real like highway. So this is the west side of Cypress Lawn Memorial Park all over here. <laughs> Right? And then you have, this is the east side of Cypress Law Memorial Park. Isn't that crazy? It is across two different streets. That's how big it is. Wow. All right. This is going to be a difficult one for me because um, it's so big. It really is so big. And uh, I'm going to have trouble figuring out who's on the east side and who's on the west side and all that stuff. But all right, let's jump inside and let's go on another famous grave tour. Okay, I was just driving in and I immediately to the left noticed this one um, and unfortunately it looks like the top has been damaged probably by wind maybe or trees falling on it but it used to be taller it's shaved off and then that obelisk right there is shaved off as well this one's completely gone on this side but I mean this is very like pretty it's very gothic um, De La Montoya is the name on this one I don't know who it is um, but I just had to show you guys because it was it's really pretty. Oh my God, look at this. It's actually all stabilized inside with wood. So they are going to repair this thing, but look at that. I've never seen that before. They are totally restabilizing the whole interior with a wood foundation because of the deterioration going on here. I just thought it was really cool as I was driving in. Here's one of the, um, I'm not sure actually, this might be the office, but it's very gothic as well. Very pretty. Lots of stained glass. Um, I have a feeling we're gonna find some very pretty stuff here, but isn't that sad? That one's just kind of falling apart, but it is beautiful. Good morning, guys. All right, so um, you just saw that street shot, and uh, today we find ourselves at the Cypress Lawn Memorial Park out here in Colma, California, just south of San Francisco. And um, yeah, it was founded in 1892, sits on 150 acres, and it, there's a street in the middle. It's called El Camino Real. It's actually a highway kind of thing. Um, it splits the two into an east and a west side. So this is going to be a fun one to search. Um, I know there's one easy one to find. The other one's going to be a little difficult. Sorry, that sun is like right there. It's a little weird. Um, I'm just kind of walking around trying to figure out the landscape and what section is what because there's there's uh, letters on the sections and I'm trying to figure out how they identify that because I couldn't find a map anywhere. I'm sure if I go in the office, they'll have them, but I don't really like to do that because I don't want people really knowing I'm here. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, you know, some places get a little weird with, you know, people coming out and documenting, you know, the, the famous graves and whatnot. So um, I just steer clear of that. And I just figured out on my own, usually just by looking at pictures and referencing different landmarks and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, actually, it's pretty cool. Let me show you this. Let me turn the camera around and show you the street. Yeah, so here is the main driveway in. You saw that cool archway that you drove through. Uh, well, I'm on the east side right now, and then there's a street, and then that big cemetery out there across the way, uh, that is the west side. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I just have to figure out who's on what side um, and then go from there. But very uh, different feeling here. This one, uh, on the last video I did with Wyatt Earp and Levi Strauss, I talked about everything was facing the west, and I didn't know why. And this one there's no rhyme or reason they're just kind of facing everywhere some are i mean there's ever they're literally facing every direction this one's even corner wise and that one's facing the west this one's facing the east these are facing north so who knows oh i see something cool over here i don't know what it is i said cool and the name on it is actually cook but it's actually a, um, a pyramid let's go check that one out um this is actually might be a long video because i have i think four or five people i want to visit um but if i see something cool I want to show it to you guys, you know, because I know you guys can't be here. You guys are all over the world and, and all, every, all things like that. So um, I want to show you more than just the graves if there's something cool. 
And this is cool. <laughs> I've never seen a pyramid. Okay, this one is weird. Hold on. Um, this is this is weird. So, like I said, facing different directions. This one is facing west. This one is facing east, and then this one is facing east. But they're just like three in a row, kind of facing each other. I wasn't sure what was going on there. If this was like a divider, but this one is very cool. Who we got here? Carol Cook. Died 19, I'm sorry, I can't see that, 1915. Wow. Houston Cook. That's kind of weird. I mean, I would assume they pull this middle one out because this one is recessed a little bit. You can see, I would assume that's how you get the different coffins inside of here. Or urns if they're cremated, who knows. But isn't that cool? I've never seen just a pyramid like that sitting on the grounds very very different and actually now that i'm right here through these trees i see exactly where i want to go that big white mausoleum right there huge let's go over there wow there it is right there that's one of the uh mausoleums i was looking for very easy to find right when you actually pull in the main driveway you just keep heading straight come to a fork and this is the uh mausoleum for william randolph hurst Better known as the uh, the Hearst family, and there's also the national uh, landmark over here in San Simeon, California, uh, the Hearst Castle. Um, yeah, William Randolph Hearst. He was a my God. He I mean he owned the largest newspaper company in the world, uh, Hearst Communications. Um, he was the owner of the San Francisco Examiner, and um, God, so many other newspapers in the in the nation. He actually um, owned as well. Look how tall and grand this is. My God, this is crazy. Wow, actually his life story was inspired, um, is what inspired the movie Citizen Kane, uh, one of the best movies ever made. This is really, I don't know if I'm supposed to climb up this. These look like stairs, but then they don't look like stairs. See how they're like so, I don't know. Um, let's, I don't know if I'm supposed to go up there or not, guys. I'm going to go up. Let's just do it. All right, that was weird. I don't think I was supposed to do that, but we're gonna do it anyways. I'm trying to get you guys to look inside, but it's very reflective in here. Um, there's some plants and everything from Christmas in there, I see, but you can't really see much. Yeah, I don't know. You're not supposed to, uh, I don't think we're supposed to go up here, but I don't know, I'm gonna get back down and kind of give you guys a different shot. Sorry, I had to, had to climb there. This is so big. It's so grand. The luxury here. Oh, there's windows in the back. I wonder if I can see from there. No, I can't reach that high. I'm vertically challenged, guys. <laughs> I can't get up that high. Um, stained glass window there. It's really dark in there. It really is. Um, I try to look through. You saw the camera try to look through, and you can't really see anything inside. I got to get back. This thing is so big that my lens is just not doing any justice. I'm trying to stay back away, but... Um, yeah, William Randolph Hearst, guys. He's a uh, legendary uh, in California, but uh, you know his his castle, the Hearst Castle, out there in San Simeon, kind of in the uh, it's on the along the Pacific Coast Highway between um, God. It, it's 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 near. It's between Monterey and San Luis Obispo, somewhere in San Simeon. It's kind of the best way to describe it. But right on the ocean, sits at the top of the mountain, and uh, it's a national landmark now, a historic landmark. So here we go. William Randolph Hearst. God, that is so beautiful. All right, I had to stop as I was going to the next one, but this one is very cool. You've got two pharaohs planking either side, and it's actually built into the hill. Look at that. See the hill right there? This one is really cool. Built right into the hill. It says uh, Rogers, R-O-D-G-E-R-S, that spelling. And uh, more pharaohs down here on the uh, bottom of the door. I don't know who this is. I just thought this was really interesting. This one you can get a good view of, though. Wow. I love the aging on this, on the copper doors right there. Looks really cool, right? Okay, now, just like we talked about in my last video with Joe DiMaggio, I am a huge baseball fan. I'm also a huge San Francisco Giants fan. And <laughs> right here, we have the legendary Hall of Famer, Willie McCovey, number 44. 
He's over here in section K, just around the back side of section K, not on the main one. Um, but yeah, I mean, God, let's just, uh, there, uh, his list of accomplishments are crazy. So he was nicknamed Stretch. Uh, sorry, just wanted to take a, a second to look at it. <laughs> I just needed a moment right there. God, it's a, it's a really pretty monument right here. Willie Lee McCovey, January 10th, 1938, born in Mobile, Alabama, October 31st, 2018, Palo Alto, California. Inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame, 1986, 1959, Rookie of the Year with a 354 batting average, 13 home runs, and 38 RBIs. 354 as a rookie. Wow. That is crazy. If you're not a baseball person or numbers, that is really good. Just, that is really good. 1969 National League MVP with a 320 uh, batting average, 45 home runs, and 126 RBIs. Wow. I don't even think I knew those stats. I knew he was an MVP for one season, but my goodness, 320 with 45 home runs and 126 RBIs back in the day when there was no technology, you just had a slump of wood? <laughs> that is unreal. Six-time All-Star, um, played in Major League Baseball for four decades. A gentle giant and a humble man. Oh, man. Now, you know, I had the opportunity to meet um, Willie McCovey a couple times at different sporting events. You know, uh, I work in hospitality and meetings and events, and, and he was like a guest speaker or a guest, um, a guest, uh, uh, I guess, famous person or whatever for whatever these events were. And I did have the opportunity to meet him a, a couple times. Um, very nice guy. Always with a smile. Um, always willing to take pictures with you. Just never, never... Um, too big for what he was you know he he was so humble and so kind god it just i mean it, there's not many like that there's been a couple people like that uh, kurt warner is the other guy that stands out that i met that was just so humble and and accommodating to fans um of the he played for the um the rams and the arizona cardinals uh, football uh, he's also a hall of famer as well but wow and look at these beautiful flowers down here very pretty couple baseballs just someone leaving some flowers. I love you always. It's just beautiful. Willie McCovey, guys. So, so pretty. It's right along the street, too. It's really easy to find. It faces the street, so it's not too difficult. Just kind of wrap around Section K and find it. All right, so I had to check out what this building is. It's actually a columbarium, so let's go inside and let's, um, let's just check it out. It looks like it's going to be really pretty. actually looked it up and it only works on the first and fourth floor the second and third floors were uh, they were never finished and it's just kind of sketchy so if you look here on the on the thing you got one and you have four no option for two or three oh that door just closed on me <laughs> yeah emergency phone i would say you would need it and something this creepy looking no thank you <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm good. I will stay out of that thing. I'll take the stairs. But the second and third floors were never finished. And it's been, I don't know, a hundred years or however many ever years since that elevator was built. They never did a second or third floor. So you can go to the first and fourth. But yeah, I just thought that thing was really creepy. There's no way I'm going in that. Okay, so people are out here feeding the ducks and seagulls and pigeons and stuff and there's a sign that I noticed over there. It's kind of far in, so I couldn't really see it from on the road. But it says no swimming and no wading in the uh, pond. So that is San Francisco for you, though. I could see people doing that for sure. All right, we're going to head over to the west side now of Cypress Lawn. You can see they're doing um, redoing the flowers and everything on that sign on the hill. But 
Uh, we're gonna head back to the supposed to be a big mausoleum back here that's really old and beautiful. So we're gonna go find that and check it out first. Okay, I'm not sure this is it. I think I'm at the back side of this mausoleum. Um, I gotta tell you, the workers here are actually a lot of fun. <laughs> I was just talking to them because one of the guys doing the lawn was just like Tokyo Drift. I actually have some video that I took on my phone for Snapchat. I'll show it right here. It's grainy, but you gotta see this. He's just like smashing around. It's so cool. Nah, I don't want to show it actually. I lied. I don't want to show it. I'm not gonna show it because I don't want to get him in trouble, but it was really funny. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is it. I don't think so, but let's walk around and see. I gotta find the main entrance. Let me do that. Oh, Toscano. I know that name. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is not what I'm looking for. Um, this is something else. This is definitely newer, but look at this. It's got two stories. It's got a little court with a water fountain. But this is definitely not what I'm looking for. Let's go find the correct mausoleum. Okay, so I'm in this building uh, down where I was looking just now. And I, I feel like they added on um, this newer part on the back side of the original part is what it looks like oh yeah okay this is looking more like it let's take a walk around Yeah, they definitely added on because this is the newer modern side. And as you cross through this archway, you can see this is the older original side. Much different feel. It doesn't look much from the outside. It does look modern, but man, it is pretty. Let's keep exploring. like there's something going in here soon oh that is spooky right very creepy all right I'm having trouble finding what I want um, and here's the front of the mausoleum actually um, and I found a door that says unit one I'm looking for EFG but look at this it says the catacombs Bummed. This is actually what I was looking for, the EFG side. And you see these green aged doors, um, mausoleum section EFG, and I don't know why they're locked. It says open 8 to 4.30, but let me see if you can get at least a peek inside. Because the colors in here are beautiful. And I'm doing this by hand, but do you see this stained glass? Isn't that just incredible up there? It's beautiful. Okay, so we came back up across from where I was earlier, and we are in the newer part, and we're looking for a niche here. Um, I recognize that window, actually. So it should be close. I'm not sure where it's at. Maybe a little further up? Maybe right by this glass? Not positive, but I felt like that looked familiar. That this window right here, but I'm not seeing what I'm looking for. Okay, there we go. Now I recognize that window right there. I just had to turn the corner. We're actually in 
the newer part of that mausoleum, and we're in section eight. And we're looking for the niche of Eddie Fisher. And I think it's right here, right here. There it is. Oh, let me see. God, the glare is so bad right now, but Eddie and Betty Fisher. So you guys know Eddie Fisher, uh, who's a actor and a music producer, musician. Um, he had his own TV show back in the day. Um, he was also married to, um, God, Debbie Reynolds. He was married to Elizabeth Taylor. And uh, I think his third wife was Connie Stevens. So he had, he was definitely the ladies' man, that's for sure. Um, and you're going to recognize the Fisher name because he is also the father of Princess Leia, Carrie Fisher. Pretty, um, pretty outstanding life that man lived, right? Yeah, he had, uh, he had it all. He had TV, he had music, he had film, he had women, and he, he birthed the princess. So, probably one of the most famous princesses ever. Right here, Eddie Fisher. Okay, I just noticed this as I turn around, but the stained glass window, uh, it looks like roses, maybe. It looks like, yeah, those could be roses because I see thorns there. But check this out on this grave right here. Wow. That is Wayne Fook, Wayne, Wayne Chin and um, Sue. Just look at that. It is just glowing right there on the wall. That looks gorgeous. What a spot. It is noon right now, so that's the light you're going to get right there. And then Eddie Fisher is right over here in this niche right here. Very cool. Okay, so we're over here in the Acacia Garden now, and in this area right here on the corner of the road, um, where it turns, is Azora Rhodes Armstead. And, um, I mean, the name not ring, ring a bell. Let me get over here. God, the weather has really, well, that was ironic, but the weather has really kind of beaten in on this tombstone here. Um, but Azora Rhodes Armstead, she was one of the two primary uh, girls of the Weather Girls. Um, we all know that band. Um, it's Rain and Men is their, their number one hit, and as well as many others. Um, but yeah, July 6th, 1942, September 16th, 2004. And God, the sun is just in a really bad spot, but even if the sun was in a different spot, you can see how hard it is to read those, those letters there. It's really not engraved very deep, which makes it really hard to read. But Zora Rhodes, Armstead. You're right here, kind of just alone. There's nobody really next to her. It's kind of empty, and it's right on this roundabout in the Acacia Garden out here. <laughs> 